Have you ever wondered what the future of human brain capabilities could look like? Imagine a world where our minds can seamlessly interact with technology, where our thoughts can control devices, and where our cognitive abilities are enhanced beyond our wildest dreams. This is not a science fiction fantasy, but a tangible reality that could soon be within our grasp, thanks to the emerging field of brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs. BCIs are devices that enable direct communication between the brain and an external device. They have the potential to revolutionize not only how we interact with technology, but also how we communicate with each other. Picture this. You could send a text or make a phone call just by thinking about it. You could learn a new language or skill in a fraction of the time it usually takes. You could even experience the world through the senses of another person. But this brave new world also brings its own set of challenges. For one, there are significant ethical considerations. Who gets to access and control this technology? How do we protect our thoughts and memories from being hacked or exploited? And what happens if these enhanced abilities create a new class of superhumans, leaving the rest of us in the dust? There are also practical hurdles to overcome. Creating a safe, reliable BCI that can be used in everyday life is no easy feat. It requires a deep understanding of the brain's complex workings, not to mention advanced technological know-how. And let's not forget about the potential health risks of implanting a device in our brains. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of BCIs are too great to ignore. They could transform the lives of people with disabilities, unlock new ways of learning and communication, and even help us better understand our own minds. As we ponder these possibilities, one company stands at the forefront of this technological frontier, Neuralink. A Neuralink, a name that has become synonymous with the future of neuroscience, but how did it all begin? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane. It was the year 2016 when the visionary Elon Musk, the brain behind SpaceX and Tesla, unveiled his ambitious project, Neuralink. Musk, known for his ability to bring the future closer, gathered a team of some of the brightest minds in neuroscience and technology. His vision was clear, to develop a device that could integrate human brains with artificial intelligence. He believed that this symbiosis could be the key to addressing neurological disorders and even enhancing human cognition. But it wasn't just an idea. Musk and his team went to work, and soon, Neuralink was more than a concept. It was a reality. The team developed a prototype, a tiny implantable device with thousands of electrodes designed to read and write neural signals. The device was like nothing the world had seen before, and it was a testament to Neuralink's commitment to pushing the boundaries of neuroscience. In the early days, experiments were conducted on animals, with the aim of understanding how the device could interact with the brain. Results were promising and the team continued to refine the technology, making it smaller, safer, and more efficient. As the years passed, Neuralink began to make strides, the company's work caught the attention of the global community, and the world began to see the potential that lay in this tiny device. From helping those with paralysis regain mobility, to potentially allowing humans to communicate telepathically, the applications seemed limitless. And it wasn't just about the potential applications. Neuralink was also about the journey, about the pursuit of knowledge, about understanding the human brain in ways we never have before. It was about pushing the boundaries, about challenging what we thought was possible. From its inception, Neuralink has been on a mission to revolutionize our understanding and interaction with the human brain. Neuralink's journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. Like a science fiction novel unfurling into reality, the milestones and breakthroughs of Neuralink have continuously pushed the boundaries of what we once thought possible. This remarkable narrative begins with a pig. Yes, you heard that right, a pig named Gertrude. On a warm August day in 2020, Gertrude became an unexpected celebrity in the world of neurotechnology. She was the first living being to successfully demonstrate a brain-machine interface, courtesy of Neuralink. Gertrude, equipped with a Neuralink device, showcased how it could read signals from her brain in real time. This was a game-changing moment, a testament to the potential of this technology. But Gertrude's 15 minutes of fame was just the beginning. It was a stepping stone, a sign of greater things to come. Neuralink was not just pushing the envelope, they were redefining it. Fast forward to July 2021, Neuralink achieved another significant milestone. The US Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, granted Neuralink a breakthrough device designation. This wasn't just a pat on the back, 
This was a nod of approval, a recognition of Neuralink's potential to treat or diagnose life-threatening or irreversibly debilitating diseases or conditions. This FDA approval put Neuralink on a fast track, a priority lane towards more in-depth evaluation and development. It was a significant stride forward, a step closer to the goal of enhancing human cognition and addressing neurological disorders. And so, here we are. From a pig named Gertrude to FDA breakthrough device designation, Neuralink has journeyed through uncharted territories, turning the impossible into the possible, the unthinkable into reality. Yet as we stand at the precipice of this new era, one can't help but wonder about the path ahead. Neuralink has made significant strides, but where is it headed? As we delve into the future, let's keep our minds open to the possibilities, the potential, and the challenges that lie ahead. The journey of Neuralink is far from over. In fact, it's just getting started. As we gaze into the future, the possibilities for Neuralink seem limitless. As we move forward, the vision for Neuralink is broad and ambitious. One of the primary goals is to enable people with paralysis to use smartphones and computers with just their minds. Imagine the freedom, the independence that could bring to millions around the world. It's not just about scrolling through social media or sending texts, but about reclaiming a level of autonomy that many of us take for granted. But Neuralink's aspirations don't stop there. The company hopes to dive into the depths of neurological disorders, aiming to provide potential treatments for conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and even depression. This is a new frontier in medicine, a melding of technology and biology that could change the lives of millions, offering hope where there once was none. Yet, the possibilities extend even further. Where Neuralink truly starts to sound like science fiction is in its potential to enhance human cognition. Picture this. Enhanced memory, faster learning, heightened sensory perception. It's the stuff of comic books and Hollywood blockbusters, yet it could be our reality in the not-too-distant future. We're talking about a future where the line between human and machine blurs, where our brains can integrate seamlessly with technology. It's a future where the human mind's potential could be unlocked in ways we can barely imagine today. Of course, this future isn't guaranteed. It's dependent on a multitude of factors, from technological advancements to regulatory approvals. And it requires us to grapple with profound ethical questions about the nature of humanity, the rights of individuals, and the potential for misuse. But as with any technological advancement, Neuralink's journey is not without skepticism and controversy. As we continue to explore the possibilities of Neuralink, we must do so with open eyes, acknowledging both the incredible potential and the significant challenges that lie ahead. The future is coming, and Neuralink is poised to play a pivotal role in shaping it. Like a coin with two sides, Neuralink's ambitious plans have also raised eyebrows and concerns. On the one hand, we have this incredible vision of a future where our brains can interact directly with machines, potentially curing neurological disorders, enhancing human cognition, or even enabling telepathy. But on the other hand, this brave new frontier is not without its share of doubts and dilemmas. The ethical implications of Neuralink are vast and complex. What happens when we start tinkering with the very fabric of our consciousness? Will we still remain fundamentally human, or will we morph into a new species, Homo cyberneticus, if you will? These are profound questions that we as a society must grapple with as we venture further into this uncharted territory. Then there's the potential for misuse. In a world where our thoughts can be digitized, what's to stop them from being hacked, manipulated, or even stolen? Privacy, already a hot-button issue in the digital age, takes on a whole new dimension when it comes to the sanctity of our minds. And let's not forget the challenges of brain surgery. It's one thing to implant a chip into a pig's brain as Neuralink has successfully demonstrated, but it's quite another to perform the same procedure on a human being, with all its inherent risks and complications. Can such a procedure ever be made safe, efficient, and affordable enough for widespread use? Nevertheless, it's important to remember that skepticism is not the same as outright rejection. It is in fact a critical part of the scientific process. Without it, we would never question, never probe, never push the boundaries of what's possible. And so, the dialogue continues. The research forges ahead. The questions keep coming as they should. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about Neuralink or Elon Musk or even the future of technology. It's about us, our brains, our bodies, our very being. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the future of Neuralink and indeed of our own human capabilities remains an exciting enigma.